What's up everybody? It's Kevin with Online Shopping My Way. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today I'm going to do a quick review of this super cool Jellycomb foldable Bluetooth mini keyboard with trackpad. Now this is something that I've been looking for. Um, I actually use a Bluetooth keyboard at home regularly, so it's pretty common nowadays to have something that's a little more uh, concise. But when I'm traveling, I like to travel light. Um, in fact, let me show you guys my bag. This is what I use. It's a small bag um, and I can pretty much put everything in there. I've got a Microsoft Go, which is really small. It packs right down. It's so small, I don't even have to take it out at the airport. It actually qualifies as a mobile device, technically. So I don't even have to take it out. Um, so I like to travel light when I can. So the one thing that was missing, um, as small as my current Bluetooth keyboard is, uh, is a portable um, Bluetooth keyboard. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box right quick and we'll get right into it. So uh, pretty much first things first, your user manual. You're probably going to use this once, if at all. Uh, you pretty much need it to know how to connect the uh, Bluetooth device to your computer or your phone uh, or both. By the way, when it comes to connectivity, uh, you can connect to up to two different devices at the same time. So that's pretty convenient. But anyway, that's how you connect. Um, next is going to be your micro USB cord. So you can actually charge it um, if you need to. I've actually used this for like the last few days for three or four hours. It's not been a problem. I haven't actually needed to recharge it over that time at all. So uh, battery is pretty good. One more thing I'm going to point out about this USB cable. If you're in a tight spot where say your battery is dead, you know, say you've been using it for days at a time and you forget to charge it, you can actually charge it in with a dead battery and connect it directly to your computer via USB and you can actually continue to use it while it charges. So that's pretty convenient. Next is gonna be the keyboard itself. As I stated, it is a foldable keyboard. And if you can see the size of my hand, it's about the size of a cell phone, right? So when it folds out, this side is gonna be your trackpad, right? And then the other side is going to be the other half of the keyboard. So works pretty well uh, when it comes to the layout. The keys are laid out just like a normal keyboard. It's not like, you know, so tiny that there's miniature buttons you can't reach. Not a big deal. Uh, but I do want to point out right up top so you guys can see the on and off button. It's going to be on this side. Right in the middle is going to be your Bluetooth connectivity button. That's where you're going to uh, press that once to have that discover um, so that whatever device you're connecting to can find it. Uh, and then lastly, uh, of course, is gonna be your micro uh, USB charge port there, okay? So that's all you really need. And if you look here, you'll see these particular emblems on the side, uh, right up top uh, is going to be your battery button. So you can see the battery button there. Right below that is your Bluetooth connectivity button. So, and I think one of these may light up. I'm just gonna turn this on. There we go, yeah, so that Bluetooth button, you can see is blue, it's lit up. That's because I've already connected to my computer, but when it does, that will light up, okay? Uh, and if you have any battery issues right up top here, that itself will illuminate to let you know that it's running low or that you may need to charge it. Again, I haven't run into that, but if you run into battery problems or it gets low, it will let you know. Um, so that's about it for the indicators. Um, and then when you do charge it, that little A you see there at the bottom, hopefully that focuses for you, um, that is to let you know that it is charging. That will light up red uh, when it is lit up uh, and connected to the USB when you're charging it, okay? I'm gonna give this actually overall a four out of five stars. And I'm telling you, the only gripe I have with it uh, is enough, in my opinion, to dock an entire star. Uh, and that is, I think the keys are just a little bit too close together. I do want them tight, make it smaller, but I feel like with my size hands, um, you know, they're a little larger than most people my, my height. Uh, I'm about 5'11", um, and it just, I make more mistakes. I've noticed that. Now I can tell you that typing over the last few days, at first I was a little bit frustrated and it actually got better. So some of it may be in my mind, so take that full star that I've docked uh, with a bit of a grain of salt, okay? Uh, I'm not saying that, you know, it, it's horrible. I'm certainly not. but. I did notice, I have to admit, that my errors uh, were reduced over that period when I got used to it. And some of it, I can likely say, was optical. When you look at it and you see where it breaks up over there, you'll see that the keyboard, the spacebar rather down here, is actually split uh, as well. And that kind of threw me off. 
So I don't generally tend to look at the keyboard when I'm typing very much, but when I first got this, I was, simply because I knew it was smaller and it was portable and I kept looking at it. But turns out, when I got into my work and I was less concentrated on this, I was making less errors. So turns out the keys are in the right place, like they should be, they are a little tighter, but I was able to overcome that without actually thinking about it. So I think I kind of created a problem a little bit in my mind. I'm just gonna throw that out there, that may actually be the case. So anyway, outside of that, the only other thing that um, I would like to point out, and this isn't necessarily a good or bad thing, um, it is what it is, but this is your trackpad. You've got your left and your right uh, click button there for your mouse. Uh, but the trackpad, in my opinion, is a little bit small. And the only reason I say that, even though it is a little mini um, foldable keyboard, is because there's space above it. I feel like if you're scrolling and there's really nothing here, that trackpad could have been extended a little bit higher up here, uh, but it doesn't stop anything. It just feels a little bit small. And I found myself roaming around up here where there was no trackpad simply because there's nothing there. And it was just easy for me to slide my finger up there. So. Um, but yeah, it's worked fine. The sensitivity is great. No issues with that. But I will tell you if I have to buy this or if I could buy it again, or, you know, this one broke, I probably would buy the same one. I realized that the two gripes that I have are not that big. Number one, the keys being close together. If you asked me the first day, I'd tell you it was a problem. But now three or four days in, I've been using it for a while and there's really I don't really make that many errors. It's not that big of a deal. I think it was a lot of it was psychological. And the trackpad, I've kind of gotten used to that too, although it's just a thing. I wish it were a little bit bigger. It is what it is, okay? So outside of that, that's really just about it. Just wanted to do a quick video for you guys. I thought this thing was really awesome. Um, it fits really well in my, in my little bag uh, without much of an issue. Again, the link for the bag is in uh, the description as well. I'm gonna throw a link to this stand because I use this as well, this little stand. I did a video on this as well uh, for uh, being able to use this when I'm on the go and it's great because ergonomically it keeps me from you know, leaning over or whatever. But yeah, go ahead and check it out. The Jellycomb foldable Bluetooth keyboard. If you have not subscribed to Online Shopping My Way, please do so now. That way you will be informed when there are other videos that come out. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next video.